Damn, the hair situation is getting out of hand. This is a good look, right? Hey guys, it's Arcade and I have no hair. So yeah, I cut my hair. What can I say? The barber shops weren't open yet, so just did it myself. I always wanted to know what I would look like with no hair and I found out. It's gonna take some getting used to, but I'm sure you can do it. Anyways, today I will show you how to make drum and bass. I would say it's liquid drum and bass, similar to Netsky style. Let's get to it. Also, this video is brought to you by Skillshare, my favorite sponsor. So I'm gonna talk about them a little bit more later. But now, let me show you how to make liquid drum and bass. No hair is required for this tutorial. Anyways, let's start with the drums. So the BPM is at 176 and here's my drum beat that I created. I used the samples from Teddy Killer's sample pack and for a liquid drum bass the drums don't have to be like overwhelming but I went with drums that are a bit more on the harder side. You could go with more mellow drums but this is just what I went with. So for the kick I have this one and then the snare I just used this one very quiet and then this one a bit louder. It's like a short, snappy snare. So this is the pattern I went with. And then I have these hi-hats. It's just a loop. And then I also added these hi-hats, I mean these rides. It's like a bit of a offbeat ride. Netsky uses that a lot in his tracks and you can hear it in a lot of liquid drum bass tracks. So then the drums sound like this. So nothing crazy, but it definitely sounds pretty clean and drives the song. So that's it for the drums. I don't really have any effects on those. Also, I use this little drum fill using the kick and the snare, but make the snare shorter. And then I go to the graph editor and increase the velocity slowly and the fine pitch as well. And do the same for the drum as well. So that's just a little fill. So yeah, that's it for the drums. Next we have the most important element, which is the bass. And the bass kind of makes up most of the track. So here's the bass I used. It's two sounds. So as you can see, the melody is pretty simple, but one thing you can notice is uh, this note, which creates a really nice effect. So it's like a really fast change of the notes. And one thing you can do in drum and bass it's usually supposed to be a bit more uplifting. So going up with the notes actually gives the listener that uplifting feeling. It's like increasing the intensity by going up and up and up. the second repetition I go even higher so yeah you can sort of increase the intensity by doing some of these tricks so for the sound I'm using one from Nexus but you can really use anything it's just this one was pretty cool and as you can see I put a filter on it because otherwise it would sound like this just a really harsh sound but I put a filter on it and automated the filter automation creating this little LFO we could say so I automated the filter for example, in Serum, you would automate the cutoff. It's essentially the same thing. So first two beats is the same, and then next two beats, it increases. And that creates this wobble bass that is sort of offbeat, which uh, Netsky also uses a lot, and it sounds like this. It really creates this nice drive effect for the whole song. When you play it with the drums, So that's the first sound I'm using. And then the second one is this one, which is this Drone Neverland. Again, you can find similar sounds in Flex or Serum. I just uh, happened to use Nexus for this one 
because I know it the best, but I actually delete all the low frequencies from the bass. So there is no sub bass frequencies, not in this one, because I deleted them all. I even put reverb on this bass, which is unusual maybe, but since this bass isn't playing the low frequencies, you can actually put reverb on it without messing up the mix. And I also make it stereo. So this sound, it's a bass sound, but it essentially sort of acts like a lead or something. And then this sound, it's a really deep bass, but again, I don't use the low frequencies. So it's just this sound. For the actual sub bass, I have a separate bass and it's this Dharma sub, but it's just a really basic sub bass. And I keep the low frequencies in that one. So that's the actual sub and these are the higher layers of the bass. So in the first repetition, I have this bass on C5, this lead bass or whatever. And in the second one, I have it on C4, which uh, makes it a bit more gritty and changes the color of the bass. So yeah, with the drums, it sounds like this. So yeah, now we are getting somewhere. So this is like the base of the song. Most of the song you will make will start something like this. Now let's get to the point where you can be creative and make it more your own. Now before we get to that, let me just mention our sponsor today, which is Skillshare. And I'm sure you already heard of them before. It's a platform where you can take classes and learn new skills. Now you can learn just about anything, try a new hobby or something. Just go to Skillshare and search. If it's FL Studio, Music Theory or Painting or something, it will be on Skillshare. For example, if we search for FL Studio, right away there is a bunch of classes to teach you more about FL Studio. Now these are longer classes which go in detail on the topic. Currently, I would recommend this class by Riley Weller. It's Learn Piano as a Beatmaker. So it's a lot about music theory and learning the piano, but not as a classical player but more for producers and beat makers, which is quite different than learning the piano as a classical player. So it's really interesting and can teach you a lot about music theory and creating melodies. So if you wanna check out Skillshare or this class, link is below in the description. And if you use the link below, you'll get two month free trial. It will be completely free for two months. And after that, if you wanna continue your subscription, the price can be as low as $10 a month. So yeah, make sure to check it out. It's a great place to go anytime you want to learn any new skill. So use the link below and get those two months for free. Anyways, now let's get back to the video. Now I wanted to get to the more creative side of creating this drum and bass track. The thing I added to make it more unique is this vocal. So I sort of wanted a vocal in this track. I think it fits well in liquid drum bass. I got this one from Splice and you know, it's not any words or anything. It's just sort of a background vocal. So it can be used very easily in any track. And I also recorded part of this vocal just like so in Edison, just recorded that and then reversed it, which resulted in this little effect. And I pretty much go with that for the whole song. Now by itself it doesn't sound like much, but in the background it's just a nice addition. So yeah, the vocal is a really nice addition to this whole thing. And then in this part where I just have it reversed, it's like this. Now the vocal is not the only thing that I added. I also have this pad. So it looks like this. So it follows the same notes as the bass, but I created the chords instead of just single notes. And that's the pads. And then I also have these hits, which is sort of inspired by Netsky as well. It 
it's just these offbeat hits. I'm using this short muted piano. And a few more things that I added is these drum loops, these percussions. And impacts. So yeah, uh, together it sounds like this. So again, the drums, the higher layer of the bass, along with the lower one, the pads, the muted piano hits, and then the impacts and the drums. And lastly, the vocal. Now this is sort of the drop of the song. Let me show you the whole arrangement and talk a little bit about how you can arrange your drum bass tracks. So here I switch to the full track that I've made, but there is one sound I didn't show you, which is in this part, and that's this piano. It's the same as the pad, but I also have this little arpeggio at the end of each repetition, otherwise it's the same as the pad. Let's take a look at the arrangement. I actually started with an impact because I felt like I haven't done that in a while. So this is how I start with the bass and the drum and the pads. We repeat it four times and then I start with the wobble bass and the vocal. Between each uh, repetition I have this reverse sweep and then the impact. That sort of makes it clear that that was the first repetition and now comes a second one. So this is essentially the build up even though it's not much of a build-up. So as you can see here I use the drum fill and this riser. And that sort of suggests the drop is coming. So when making the arrangement, make sure to switch it up a few times. So the vocal is playing here, so it doesn't have to play in the next one. We can sort of change up the vibe in the next repetition. So it doesn't straight up just repeat itself. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this tutorial for this song. Let me play you the finished result at least part of it. If you want to hear the full version of this song, it's actually on my Spotify right now, so you can check it out. Link will be below in the description. But now, let's have a listen.
So yeah, that's pretty much it for this project. If you wanna hear the full version of this song, it's actually on my Spotify right now, along with two other songs. So check it out, link below as well. And also make sure to check out Skillshare if you wanna get those two months for free. Use the link below and learn some new skills. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe as well for more videos. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs> no hair. <laughs>